I'm Gordon, and today I'm gonna get breakfast at a gas station because it's cheap and it's pretty good. Let's go get something. So I'm back from Quick Trip. I got a slice of breakfast pizza, but we're not gonna talk about that. You've seen that already. I got a brisket and egg breakfast taco. Uh, I got a chorizo and egg breakfast taco, some uh, salsa and hot sauce, and I made myself coffee, and espresso to be exact. So let's, uh, let's eat. I'm gonna start with the chorizo taco. I've had one brisket before I've had. I know it's pretty good, so I don't recall having a trees of So let's just bust this baby open. I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second. Kind of a nice little package here. Let's open it up, put some sauce on it. She's gonna be a bit messy. See if I can get it up here where you can see it there. There you go. That's the inside of the chorizo taco. Yeah. I'm gonna put some salsa on it. This is just a little bag of salsa that they have there. It's actually pretty good. I think this brand I've seen other places. All right. All right, let's have a bite. Tortilla is very soft. <clears throat> the chorizo, I didn't get a very big bite of chorizo. Let's go for another bite. It's not bad. I don't think I've ever had this one before. I'm not sure that I would get the chorizo again. It doesn't do a lot for me, but that's just me. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'll finish eating it for sure. Let's do the brisket taco. Again, package here. I'm gonna foil package. I'm gonna un undo it here. You know, the tree is not bad. I'm not sure that it's just my flavor at all. It's one of those things that. I might not buy it again, but if somebody bought one for me, I'd eat it. And I can tell you, just opening the full package of the brisket taco, it smells better. It smells kind of a little bit smoky. I think that's what they would call, say is a smoked brisket, like a barbecue brisket or something. Now this one doesn't want to come apart very good to show you the inside. I'm not going to go too deep into this because it's going to fall. It's going to make a big mess. But I think you can see it there. That's the brisket taco, egg and cheese on it, I think. Whoa, big mess. Luckily, I got a placemat. All right, my hands are all messy. All right, let's put some sauce on this baby and dry this one out. I've had one of these before, and it came apart a little bit easier to put the sauce on. This one's, I don't know, maybe they just got this one wrapped up in such a way. All right, first bite. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> That's definitely better than the trees one to me. Is it the best brisket I've ever had? No, no, not at all. I might get this one again just for something different. If I was to go there and get breakfast, I would probably get their pizza. Um, I like their pizza, it's pretty good. And this is okay. This might be nice just to have something other than pizza. But 
Mm. Yeah, the, the brisket's better than the chorizo to me. They have one, they have a sausage breakfast taco too. I didn't pick that one up. I probably should have tried that. I tend to like sausage, like regular breakfast sausage, more than say chorizo or something like that. So anyway, I've had better briskets at gas stations before, but I think the Wally's gas station, which is not quite as large and wide as Quick Trip is, has better brisket, uh, but there's only two Wally's in the world right now, so there you go. And I don't know, I've had brisket sandwich at Bucky's. I'm guessing that they have a brisket breakfast thing too, and I'm sure it's pretty good because their brisket was really good. So anyway, Quick Trip breakfast tacos. Yeah, if you're in a hurry, and you got to go by Quick Trip, and you're gonna stop there and get gas or something. Yeah, grab one. The brisket probably more than the than the chorizo. Uh, but if you really want to get good breakfast at Quick Trip, get the pizza. Although I have had people tell me that they're you can order a burrito from their kitchen if they got a kitchen there, and those are pretty good. I think I got one a long time ago, but it's been a long time ago. So anyway, cheers. Let's eat the rest. So thanks for watching. Tune in again real soon when I make questionable gas station eating decisions. But you know, it'll probably be tasty. This is pretty good. Anyway. Bye. You know, back when I was a kid, if you went to like a, just a gas station, they would have a soda machine and they might have some candy bars or chips inside. That was all the food you were going to get at a gas station. Unless it was the gas station restaurant combo. And then it was a gas station, regular old gas station, and a full-on restaurant as part of it. And back where I grew up, there was a place called Reed's Corner. Reed's Corner. And that's kind of what it was. It had a gas station, you know, with the service bays and all that stuff. And then they had a full-on restaurant. I mean, it's a full-on big restaurant. You know, you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I remember my aunt and uncle, they used to, years ago when I was a little kid, they, they ran a gas station restaurant like that in a little town. And it was a regular gas station, gas pumps, service bays, you know, you get your cars worked on and stuff. And then it was a full-on restaurant attached to it. But and if you went to just the gas station, there was no food like this, so... It's pretty amazing, although there's no more service bays anymore, is there? <laughs> it's either fill up with gas and fill up your belly, but you can't get your tire changed or oil changed or whatever at a gas station anymore. Somebody's going to prove me wrong.